Hey there, math fans. How well do you know your angles of the unit circle? Do you find it hard to remember where 5 pi over 6 is? Do you not know where 3 pi over 4 is? Do you not know where 7 pi over 4 is? Does it make you sweat when you have to label those? I have taught calculus at the University of Washington for over 20 years. I find the students often come in with frantically trying to write down the unit circle and worried about it. And I think it has to do with the following thing one of the reasons. So if you can remember that all the way around a circle is two pi radians, that means this is pi radians, everything about angles is about figuring out fractions of a circle. The main angles we like to know are the ones you'd get by taking pi. That's one of the pumpkin pies I made at a Thanksgiving years ago. I baked lots of pies. We're just going to cut it into fourths. We're going to do pi over four. We're going to do two pi over four. We're going to do 3 pi over 4, and you're going to say, hold on, he just wrote 2 pi over 4. Yes, I did. That was on purpose. 4 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, and 8 pi over 4. I think it's because we reduce fractions is why students don't remember these things. But it's the same thing that happens when you use a ruler. I grew up helping my dad on construction sites, doing measurements, and we wouldn't say six eighths. We knew it was six eighths, but we would say three fourths. That's the same thing I think that's happening to students here if they're forgetting. That's why I can know that this is seven pi over four because it comes before eight pi over four. It's like reading a ruler. I tell students that and they're, they're amazed, but it's, it's something you get. So there you go. Those are the main angles. We also like to cut it into six. So let's do that next. Let's get rid of this. Let's cut up our pie a little differently. We got more people that want to eat it. I do, when people say I love your pie, I say I didn't make it for you. I made it for myself. <laughs> Please don't eat very much of it. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Now we're going to cut it into six uh, pi over six. Yep, I'm going to write two pi over six. I'm going to write three pi over six. I'm going to write four pi over six. So it's like working with a ruler. If you've never worked with a ruler, then this is hard. <laughs> Seven pi over six, eight pi over six. 9 pi over 6, 10 pi over 6, 11 pi over 6, and 12 pi over 6. That's it. That's all you need to label the angles of the unit circle.